Hi, so we're back in Autodesk Inventor uh, and we're going to go ahead and create a um, coil. Uh, so let's go ahead and do start 2D sketch and uh, we'll click on um, the XY plane. So for the coil, we need a 2D space or a 2D shape to uh, coil around our um, uh, an axis. So the axis can be any straight line. Um, in this case, for our coil, we're going to put the line outside of the um, outside of the uh, um, shape that we are revolving, right? Or sorry, we're coiling around. So. Um, Let's go ahead and make a, uh, a rectangle. In this case, we're going to go ahead and dimension it. Let's say we're going to dimension it. Um, let's say it's 0.5 inches. Okay, and let's say it is one inch in diameter. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and say that it's going to be, it's going to start out at um, let's say then we're going to say that it starts out at two inches from the um, from our um, axis there. Okay, so there we have it. We've got our uh, we've got our our uh, shape that we're going to uh, coil around our axis. The length of the axis doesn't matter in this case. So let's go ahead and finish sketch. Okay, so we click on the coil tool. Um, notice that the the um, area is already selected. Um, then we're going to go ahead and select the axis, and notice that. Um, Notice that already the uh, the coil goes ahead and and shows us our um, our uh, preview there. Um, when you first come in, um, it's going to look more like this. Um, okay, uh, and notice that what we have here is that pitch and resolution revolution is just one of the options on how to make a coil. Okay, how to or sorry, how to specify uh, the shape of the coil. Okay, so pitch is the distance. If we if we scroll in here, so we notice that the pitch is the distance uh, between from one revolution to another. So so from here to here is eight inches, right? So from one rev one point in the revolution to the next, that's eight inches. That's our pitch. Okay, so let's go ahead and just make that two inches there. Okay, then the number of revolutions, that's how many times it's going to go around. So in this case, um, you know, it's 20. Let's make it 10. Okay, and there's our, there's our coil. Uh, so let's go ahead and click OK and let's see what we've done here. All right, so there, that's, our, that's our beginning of our coil. Okay, now there are a couple things to take into account when we're doing a coil. So the first thing is, is that these ends kind of matter, right? So in a lot of cases, you know, this may be fine for what you're doing. You know, maybe you're printing this out, maybe you're machining it, right? Uh, but but in a lot of cases, what we need to do is we need at the ends, we need that, um, we need it basically to transition to a flat surface, okay? So, so, um, so we're going to, the close start and close end basically means the coil is going to flatten as it goes out. So let's go ahead and let's just set it to 180 degrees flat and then transition will be 90, 180, and 90 for close end. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and click OK. All right, so there we have it. So now, now you can see that if we look at this straight on, you can see that the top flattens out, right? So if we've sat this on a surface, notice it goes from 90 degrees all the way to 180. And if we sat this on a flat surface, it would, it would be flat on both ends, okay? So you can see that quite plainly there. Okay, so that is our coil uh, tool. Uh, best of luck.